hello guys welcome to another informative educative and interesting video here on the foam tv my name remains a foam thank you for sticking to our channel watching our videos subscribing sharing our videos and commenting i appreciate each and every one of you and i thank god for your lives every time today i'm starting a new project at Nsawam Adipa in the eastern region of Ghana and I'm going to share this journey from start to finish you know how we do it on this channel I'm going to give you update upon update on how the project is going to start how we are going to do each and every one of the activities that we have to do how we are going to deliver this project so if today is your first time on this channel please click on the subscribe button share this video and like also don't forget to leave a comment as we are going to take you through how to start a 15,000 catfish farm from scratch so as you can see the first activity that we do um when we go to any site and we want to start any big project is to clear the land and so on this side too we had to bring in the wheel loader to clear the whole of the land this is to ensure that we have a level and even land surface to work with and so as you can see the land has been leveled and ready for the project that we want to do here the next thing that we do is to demarcate the land do the layout the dimensions and the measurements that we are going to build the concrete pond with now this side of the project needs a lot of accuracy because if we don't get this thing right the whole project will not be correct so we have to make sure that we do our measurement as precisely as possible and make sure that the layout is aligned per the design that we are going to use for this concrete pond the next thing that we do is to start digging the trenches that have already been marked as the foundation please note that here we are not digging trenches as though we are going to build a house that's also very important so these trenches are going to be dug one foot deep so we are going to dig it only one foot deep because only one block is going to be put down after we have done the foundation concrete so we put uh, some foundation concrete down which will be about three inches high then we are going to lay one block on it and the block is six inches block that we are going to use for this project throughout so we lay one block on the foundation concrete then we cast concrete on that one block throughout as you can see pillars are going to be erected strategically in the walls of the pond to fortify the pond and make it strong to be able to hold the amount of water and the pressure that will come on this pond these ponds are going to be 25 by 20 feet in length and in breadth so 25 by 20 and the height is going to be four feet so you can see this is a big pond we are building these ponds so that one of these ponds can take about three thousand to four thousand catfish up to maturity so you can see the huge area um of the pond and we we are constructing this thing with every technical um knowledge that we have plus more because we want it to be technically strong and be able to hold water for the longest time so there are two other ponds that these two ponds are going to be the nursery and these ponds are 10 feet by 20 feet each and those two are going to be the nursery but the rest of the ponds which are three in number are going to be 25 by 20 feet each and that's also going to be um the grow out ponds um and we are hoping that as i said one will hold about four thousand catfish so we have three of them that's going to be twelve thousand and then the ten 
by 20 two of those 10 by 20s can also hold 3000 in all giving us a 15000 capacity catfish farm when we say 15000 capacity catfish farm it means that it can take up to 15000 but you don't necessarily have to stock it with all the 15000 so that's what it means so you can see um our workers are seriously on site everybody is involved trying to get these projects done in the shortest possible time where we are working is a place that uh, rains a lot so in Sawam, so it rains a lot at this place so uh, our project is quite behind time and then at this stage we want to um, put all hands on deck and work at a faster pace so that we can be able to complete the project on time we are using six inch blocks concrete blocks and um the cement that we normally use for this kind of work is 42.5 hour so if you're going to buy cement for the concrete work then you must insist on getting the 42.5 hour um a lot of uh, waterproof cement will also be used in a ratio that we know um so that um, the pond is going to be waterproof and it's not going to leak and all those stuff so guys um i'm excited about this project is it's it's going to be an interesting journey on this project and i insist on the highest quality for everything that we do on this farm so you can see the blocks are of high quality um everything that we use here is of high quality and the best um and the best materials so that at the end of the project your client can appreciate the quality work that you have done after the block work i'm going to show you the plumbing works how we are going to do the drainage system and the water inlet and water outlet i'm also going to show you how we are going to secure this whole project because it's not only about the ponds you have to secure the project and make sure that you prevent theft and intruders from I mean going to your farm so that's one thing that we are going to show on this project too again we are going to look at the water source how we are going to get water is it going to be borehole alone or we are going to have backup plans for the supply of water so um there's a lot that we are going to show on this project and i believe there'll be a lot of questions that some of you may have if you have a question please leave it in the comment section and i'll be sure to get back to you you will realize by now that every project that we undertake is unique and different from the other one and the uniqueness is in the improvement because there's an improvement every time we undertake a new project we we bring on board new ideas new techniques new design and a better engineering of the whole project and that's one thing i'm excited about myself because on this project the drainage system that we are going to use is going to be quite different from what we have done previously on other farms and um, you know these ponds are bigger so we have put in place enough measures to ensure that uh, it drains quicker and uh, because it rains a lot at this site so we've put enough enough measures in place to ensure that the water does not overflow and we don't lose fish and i mean everything on this project is going to be better so i'll be bringing you the updates this is how we've started the whole project the fifteen thousand capacity concrete catfish farm and there will be more there are more projects that we are going to show on this project there are more tarpaulin ponds there are some ethane ponds that we are working on that we are going to show so please stick to the channel continue supporting us watch our videos subscribe to the channel and let's build farming fish farming in ghana and africa as a whole thank you very much for watching this video and i hope to come your way again another time with more exciting informative and educative videos such as this one have a blessed day and bye for now. Bye-bye.